Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a, another week of makeovers. If you've been following along, then you guys know that I've been slowly making over every room in our apartment. Last week and this week, we are focusing on the powder room because I really want to finish the main level of the house. And if you didn't watch last week's video, then you definitely have to because I made some really amazing DIYs. So make sure to go back and watch it, otherwise you're missing like half of this makeover. I honestly feel so inspired after making those and today we are finally making everything come together in this tiny little powder room. I'm trying out a style that is a little bit different for me because there's a lot of color and also a lot of pattern. And this can either go really right or really wrong. I want to make it really bold and make a statement. So I have some pretty big DIYs that I'm planning in there. So let me go over the mood board so you guys can kind of see where my head is at and what the game plan is. Also, I have to thank Robo Rock for sponsoring today's video. They are doing a huge sale. So I will be talking a little bit more about that later on in the video. Okay, let's go over the mood board. I have it all on Canva, which is what I use. You guys always ask me what I use to make my mood boards. Canva is the best place to make them and I just upgraded to Canva Pro this year and it's been such a game changer. So here's the mood board. I am calling this my whimsical, eclectic, jewel box of a powder room. I want this to make a statement as soon as you walk in and I just really wanna have fun with this, play around with color and kind of step outside of my boundaries. So we have a mix of cool and warm tones and I feel like it's bold, but not too in your face. The loudest thing in here is definitely gonna be this huge mural that I wanna do. I was really inspired by this wallpaper by Bell Arte Studio. I hope I'm saying that right. I fell in love with it the moment that I saw it and it's actually called their eclectic landscape which I find is very fitting for this makeover. Since it's a mural wallpaper, it can get pretty pricey depending on how large the wall is. I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you're in a home, but since I'm renting, I'm not gonna have it forever, so I decided I'm going to do a DIY version of this with just some paint. I've never done a mural like this, so we will see how it turns out, but I just love the warm tones in it. It totally reminds me of anthropology. Based on everything that I have on the mood board, I think it's all going to come together and look cohesive. I even Brian the mood board and he was like is this all going to clash too much and it basically responded with yes it might but we are gonna make it work I have faith in myself and I'm trusting the process I know a lot of you were also excited when I showed you the mood board last week so I'm hoping that this goes according to plan so let's head downstairs and show you guys what the powder room looks like right now. So here is the current state of the powder room. You guys really loved the DIYs last week, so if you missed it, go back and watch. I definitely have to paint the backside of this because you can definitely see it in the reflection. And I also want to admit to you guys that I totally messed up because you could see the mirror underneath here and then from this angle, when you're standing close to the mirror, you cannot see it. But once you step back, you could see it peeking up. So that was totally my fault. I didn't account for the curve. It covers the top of it, but I didn't make it wide enough on the sides. So I really was kicking myself over this. The whole point was to cover it so that you wouldn't even know, but now I think I'm just going to add a mirror to the back of this and take off the existing one. Definitely not ideal, but I want this to look as good as possible. So that is what we're gonna do. Just adding these few pieces of decor has already brightened up the bathroom so much because you guys can see that everything in this apartment is gray, gray cabinetry, gray doors, gray floors. A lot of apartments these days just default to doing gray everything thing which I understand because it is basic it goes along with a lot of people's decor styles but obviously I want this bathroom to be a lot more colorful I did get a comment on the finishes of this apartment because I think they did a great job of choosing things that go really well together however I think it could be a lot better so let's start with the first DIY I'm gonna do the mural on this wall first because it's definitely gonna take me the longest and if I start now then I can take a little breaks in between. I have to prep everything and grab my supplies. So let's get this makeover started and let's transform this powder room. And if you're wondering what's in this box, it's the new sconces.
Everything is taped and I'm ready to sketch. I actually just mocked up the design on my iPad. So this is just gonna be a loose guide because I'm not gonna make it as detailed. I'm making it a little bit more minimal. Otherwise, this would take me like a week to complete and I'm trying to do it in just a couple of days. So mocking it up is just better for me to visualize where I need to draw all of the curves. We're gonna do everything in pencil first, then I can map out all my colors and fill everything in. Okay, I am as ready as I'll ever be. I have everything kind of laid out here. I have a bunch of my leftover paint, which I'm definitely going to use. And I also have the new paints that you guys saw that I picked out. I put the swatches up just so that I can reference them and make sure I kind of see the color palette. I also have sponges, different brushes, and even paper towels because I want there to be a lot of texture for each one of these layers. And to do that, I'm also going to water it down so it looks a little bit more like a watercolor painting. Even though our apartment allows us to paint in here, my only concern is that I'm gonna have too many layers. And when I paint over it, you're going to see that. So we are trying to avoid that. And I do have textured walls, so I'm a little bit worried about that. So I know it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but we will see how that goes. I'm gonna start with the top and then basically Basically work my way down and kind of do it paint by number style where I'll start with one color and I'll kind of just place it as I see fit on this mural. So I'm gonna start with a neutral and go from there. Here goes the first little dab. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. This actually is applying really well. Oh shoot, I just splattered. Uh oh, okay, too much water. This is actually really fun. <laughs> Honestly, the texture of the wall is working with this design pretty well. Take a step back to see. Wow! Okay, this is actually really fun and it's turning out better than I thought. We're gonna treat this wall like an empty canvas for this huge piece of art and I've done murals before but nothing like this where it's not solid colors with sharp lines. So I really tried to go with the flow with this and I found that watering down the paint and using these sponges did just the trick to create that fluid watercolor look. And when you're creating a mural, you definitely wanna take a step back from time to time just to make sure that you're seeing the bigger picture. That way you can really balance it all out with different colors and textures. And even though we're renting, I want to show you that you don't have to demo everything out to make a change in your space. There are so many ways you can get creative with colors and patterns and painting a mural or adding peel and stick wallpaper is such a great option. Does this bring back any vibes from the old house? This definitely reminds me of when I was doing the bathroom and I did the fake lime wash with the sponge. Except this time I'm basically using a sponge as a paintbrush. What's funny is when I was planning out this project, I was originally going to cut out big pieces of paper, paint that, and then stick it onto the wall like a collage. But that was gonna take way too long, so I think the paint definitely gives kind of the same effect. It's been a little over an hour and a half, and I've done this much of it. And my goal is to finish the background today, and then tomorrow we'll work on the details. It's already looking so good, honey. You like it? Yes. Honestly, they should pay us to live here. <laughs> Making all this art. <laughs> Good 
morning you guys it is a new day and i basically just spent the morning cleaning and prepping and making sure that we are ready to go lately we've been so busy getting the house together because i really want to decorate for the holidays like asap i've actually been spending more time diying and less time cleaning because we just got the new rower rack q8 max plus it is honestly amazing and we've been using it the past couple of weeks i've only heard good things from rover rock and they have thousands of positive reviews so i'm really excited that they are kindly sponsoring today's video. First of all, I love that it comes in different colors, so we obviously got the one in white. Back when I lived with my parents, I remember we got a robot vacuum and it honestly was such a game changer because I actually am allergic to our family dog. He sheds a lot of fur, so we would have to vacuum every single day. And after we got a smart vacuum, we didn't have to do that anymore. And even if you don't have pets, it is honestly a must and a huge game changer. It just saves so much time, especially now that we are in a multi-level home. I just found it it's so hard to keep both the downstairs and the upstairs clean. I'm so impressed with the Roborock and there are a lot of amazing features about it. One of the top things for me is that it doesn't tangle hair in it. As you can tell, I have very long hair and whenever I use a traditional vacuum, it's really hard because it always gets stuck in there. But with Roborock, they have a duo brush roller that's made out of all rubber so that the hair doesn't get tangled in there. This just makes it so effective in getting all the dust and debris off of the floors. That has been major for us and it can also vacuum and mop. I was very excited about that feature because that means I can kill two birds with one stone and get all of those tiny little dust particles that vacuuming alone usually doesn't get. It's also just very smart in knowing where your obstacles are. Around our island, we have our bar stools and it did a great job going around all of those. You can see exactly where it's cleaning on the map and also set no-go zones. So when I have it upstairs, I have a no-go zone where the stairs are so that it doesn't fall off. And I remember the first time we used it, I was so amazed by the auto emptying feature so you don't even have to touch the tank it does it all by itself we've just been loving it so much and right now they're running a huge sale for black friday you can get the q8 max plus for over 25 percent off so i will link that down below for you guys the sale's going on right now until november 30th so make sure to check out my link so you can see everything that is on sale on their site Aside from a few touch-ups, the mural is done and I'm pretty proud of it. It took about seven hours to do, I think. I spent three to four hours yesterday and then a couple of hours today, so about six to seven hours to finish this, which honestly is not that bad. It makes me happy just looking at all these colors. I feel like I'm looking at a giant watercolor piece. That's exactly the feeling that I wanted to have walking in here. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do with this back wall. I don't know if I should leave it or paint it a color because it's very plain. I will figure that out tonight, but we are actually going to start on the wall behind the mirror. My plan is to use peel and stick tiles, but since we're putting it right onto drywall, I have to put something behind it so that it's a barrier. Otherwise, you are risking peeling off your entire wall like I did in my previous kitchen, so I don't want that to happen again. And I actually want to try painting these tiles so that it has a more unique look that will tie it better with this color palette. This photo really inspired me, so I'm going to try to get kind of a similar look using this. So I'm going to lay these all out and basically paint all of them before we actually apply them on. So I'm not 100% sure if this is actually going to work or not because I've never seen anyone do it before, but we're going to try it out and see what happens. 
This took two coats of paint and a lot of patience, but it honestly did go on better than I thought it would. I haven't seen anyone paint peel and stick backsplash before, and I'm guessing because it's definitely not super durable, especially if you're using it in a high traffic area that needs a lot of cleaning. Since this isn't our main bathroom, I feel comfortable doing this as more of a decorative accent, but I will definitely update you guys on how this holds up. I was in the middle of painting the tiles and I started spiraling because I was thinking about all the ways that this could go wrong. So I want to test a little piece out first. And to do that, I have to put up the wallpaper. So this is a peel and stick wallpaper. It supposedly also is paintable. So if you're looking for a renter friendly option to paint without affecting your walls, definitely check this out. So we're gonna put this on, but first I have to remove the sconces and then the mirror as well. This isn't even fully dry yet, but I just can't wait. So I'm going to hang it up now. My concern is that if I paint these before I apply them, they're going to start cracking or peeling because this is obviously very flexible. So I'm afraid that peeling it will affect it. So we will see. I also just got a laser level, which it's about time because I've been doing too many projects where I'm just drawing a line with pencil. So no more of that. And this honestly was only like 20 bucks. So totally worth it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm going to peel this and hopefully it'll be fine. Wait, I shouldn't even peel it all the way, right? Oh man, what am I doing? Okay, it's working. We're good, the paint is fine. Okay, good to know that this works. I feel like such a pro now that I have a laser level and I definitely would recommend it to you guys if you don't already have one in your toolkit. So I will link this one down below. The backsplash went on pretty smoothly, but since I'm using contact paper underneath, it is a little bit trickier to remove it once you put it down. So I had to be really careful with the placement before I pressed it. I cannot believe how fast time has flown by in our new place. It's honestly crazy to think that at the beginning of this year, we were in our house contemplating on moving back here or not. I'm so glad we took that leap and just did it because I find myself feeling so inspired every week here to try something new or do something new. It definitely does get a little harder to do that once it's colder and darker out, but I really hope my videos still spark some inspiration for you during the upcoming winter months. I've just been really enjoying making these videos and working on projects that I truly love. And I also want to take this time to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving this week if you celebrate. I am seriously so grateful for each and every one of you watching and supporting. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Ah, look at how good the backslash looks with the mural. I'm getting super excited because we're getting so much closer to finishing this. Next, we're gonna add some sconces. Look at how pretty this is. I love the hardware and the amber tone glass. I think it really goes well with the mural and the backsplash. Has a little bit more of that vintage vibe, which I think is gonna balance out kind of like the more modern fixtures that we have with the towel bar and also the faucet, which I'm not going to change. That's a little bit more difficult to do, but what's easy to change out is actually lighting. I feel like a lot of renters don't change out their lighting because they think it's not renter friendly, but it's actually really easy to switch out because it's only being held by a couple of screws as well as the wiring and after watching a bunch of tutorials and switching it out a couple of times I feel pretty comfortable now so I would encourage any renters out there to try switching out your lighting this one was also pretty affordable they were under $50 each 
and I can always remove them and take them with me in the next place that we go to. These lights honestly make all the difference. It takes away that mid-century look that I had before. I just really love looking at them and if you're wondering what I did with the old ones, I'm just gonna store them underneath the sink. And a pro tip is to keep all of the hardware in one place so that you don't lose it when you go back to replace them. We are actually going to address the sink. I actually want to remove the doors and add a little sink skirt. So I'm gonna grab my drill and do that right now. so it should fit perfectly at the top okay and then I got these cafe curtains but they're more green than I would have liked so I'm just gonna hang them up and I think I'm gonna have to order another pair in a different color I was really hoping it would be like a darker green this is more like a spring green which is not what I was going for but who knows maybe it'll work let's give her a try Oh my god, so cute! Oh my gosh, maybe this green will work. Okay, I'm gonna sit with it for a little bit, but... I'm loving this vibe! It is the last day of the makeover. I am so excited to style and get everything into place. We're gonna start with the toilet wall, so we decided to leave it plain just because it's looking a little busy everywhere. So we're gonna leave it alone, but maybe in the future we'll paint here. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I was thinking about doing a striped wall, but I thought it was a little bit too crazy, so we're just gonna calm down for now. I'm gonna hang the lanterns back in this corner, but I needed to fill up this space above the toilet. Ultimately, I landed on putting up some shelves. So these are pre-made. I really like the style of them. I will link these below, but I got them half off. So they were only like seven or eight dollars each. And we're going to stack two of them on top of each other and add some cute decor onto it. If you would have told me three years ago that I would be painting my own mural and switching out light fixtures in my home, I honestly don't think I would believe you because the most I ever did was hang a photo on the wall. I've learned so much these past couple of years and it's allowed me to challenge myself to really think outside the box when it comes to creating a home. Even if it's a rental, I still think it's really important to add in your own personal touches so that it reflects who you are as a person. And looking back at the before of this bathroom, Room, it really had no personality at all. It was pretty gray and minimal, making it the perfect blank canvas to turn into something colorful, bold, and eclectic. And I feel like we did just that. make this my backdrop for every single video if there wasn't this really loud vent going off at all times. But overall, I am so proud and so happy with this makeover. It honestly it just makes me so happy looking at all of these colors. This is unlike any makeover I've ever done before and I can't believe we pulled it off. Let me know your thoughts on the makeover and what your favorite part about the makeover was. Also give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because there are a ton more makeovers coming on this channel. Doing this just really sparked my creativity and I want to do even crazier makeovers in here. So stay tuned for that and if you guys want to see more updates from me, make sure to follow me over on Instagram where I post every single day. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I will see you in the next one. Bye!